Hey, how's it going guys? Take another video for you and this time we're going to be showing you how to do the Emerald Dragon Shrine with its corresponding portal in the Chromie scenario. So the first thing you want to do is basically get a whole bunch of plants and owls because you need to get 24 owl feathers and 30 plant lasher parts. The reason you need to do this is because every 10 lasher part and every 8 uh, feathers creates an item and you need 3 of these items to go around, use on the really big trees, kill two more bad guys and then after you do that three times you will be able to uh go kill the final guy so i'm not going to show you me you know gra gathering all of them it's pretty simple just kill the plants for the vines kill the owls for the feathers and then that big tree back there is what you're going to use the item on uh, here's me grabbing the last of my feathers i'm gonna go ahead and use the item that's what it looks like and now you should have three of these uh go around to each of the big trees i'm showing you right now and then once you use it, you will see these two guys. The only really spell that they do is an interruptible like eye beam. So they're not too big of a deal. Uh, now, this isn't like how to speed run this because the setup, you have to do it for the first time. After that, you can skip all of this when you come back here, if you finish it and just kill the main guy and then go do the portal for each of the dragon shrines. That's basically how the Chromie scenario works. As you can see, I uh, couldn't find the third one, so I had to cut clips here. Finally found them. I don't know why I couldn't see them. And I've seen them before in the beginning of the video. I'm just an idiot. Don't mind me. After you do the third one, you're going to come over to this paw right here, accept her quest, and then the big guy will spawn that you have to kill. Now, oh yeah, and the bitch always runs away when you're on your mount, so whenever you try to talk to her to save some time, just get off your mount. Now, this guy, he's pretty hard. Uh, he's a lot. They're a lot harder uh in live than they were on the ptr that's for damn sure so what you want to do he's going to do three different attacks one attack he's going to do is that nightmare bolt you can't do nothing about it the next thing he does is he puts you to sleep you can interrupt it so do that and this is the third spell it's a forward aoe type ability that hurts you quite a bit uh, but the biggest problem is his nightmare bolts because they put a dot on you if you watch uh there, oh, it didn't get on me for some reason. I don't know why that one didn't get on me, even though he used it. I might have, I might have death gripped him or something, but there it is right there. Um, it does a lot of damage, like 200,000 or something like that, a tick. As you can see, my health drops pretty rapidly, and I even have that uh, one neck on that gives you the bubble absorption, and it just eats through it no problem. As you can see, it was like three ticks and it was gone. But after you do that, loot him, accept the quest, go back to the Dragon Shrine, the Wireless Temple, I mean, and turn it in for the portal to appear. All right, now what you want to do, if you're Horde, sorry Alliance, uh, accept this quest and then do as exactly as I do, because you're going to need to kill a cannon. But before you can kill the cannon, you have to get two different items to get rid of its, uh, like, sh shield or whatever. And then you also want to grab seven of these, like, bomb things that take away 15% of its health. So come back here to the back hut, and you're going to want to kill this gnome. He isn't really that big of a deal, you know, just interrupt his uh, overcharge, and you pretty much should be fine. And then after this, we're going to go grab the other thing. I think this is the alchemy vial that you need. And then the other one. Oh, yeah. And don't stand in that, obviously. It's pretty telegraphed abilities that he does. And they're not super fast. So you shouldn't have any problem doing this. So go ahead, finish killing him. And then we'll move on to the second one. Oh, okay, that, that one drops the, uh, the absorption charger or whatever the hell it's called. You don't have to really kill these guys. These guys aren't important. Uh, the, the guy you do want to kill is coming after me, the commanders. They're the ones that drop the item that destroys 15% of the turret's health. And you're going to need 7 of these or 8 of these. I forget. So, you know, hopefully you're not trying to do it as I'm doing it. And you're watching so you can see at the end how many I exactly need. I could do the math right here. And in fact, I, I will do the math. So 100 divided by 15... Yeah, so you're going to need 7. I was right, because it's like 6.6, .6 and you can't do a point six, so just go with 7. Forgot this was in here, my bad. Alright, so here's the guy that gives the alchemy vial. He, he's right here throwing a bunch of vials. I guess he really isn't a priest, but he looks like a priest. 
Uh, just dodge the vials and then try to run away from him, slow him down during this because he has increased attack power and you really don't want to die by him. So, you know, I changed the vice him, ran around till it was almost over, then kept beating him up and ran away from the vials. Wait till he does that thing, run away, should be no problem. I don't really know how much the vials do, but knowing this whole scenario does quite a bit of damage, I probably just wouldn't worry about it. Just, just run away from the stuff, don't try to tank it, unless you are a tank, then do whatever you want. All right, there's alchemy vial. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead. Uh, just like I said, go kill more commanders until you get seven of those things. All right, so I'm, I'm coming over to the uh, the cannon. As you can see, I only have six. That's because I didn't do the math before doing this. I just killed a bunch of stuff. Try to remember what I did from the PTR. And as you can see, 10% health. I just quite didn't have it. Once you do that, you're going to basically go back to Chromie, turn it in, and then go back through the portal to start your next places. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will have more on the other three later. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.